Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a massive life update as I believe we haven't really been chatting. You guys probably don't know me that well and I want to like talk to you guys and let you know more about me so you guys can get to know me better. So I wanted to come here and talk to you guys um, just about like who I am, what I do and it's a very chatty vlog and I haven't done one of these in ages because I've convinced myself that no one enjoys them. I am Rayanne or Carla. People know me as different names depending on when you met me. Uh, long story, which I'm not gonna go into, but I like, I don't mind if people call me Carla or Rayanne. Most people do call me either of them, like my family and stuff. Um, but you know, if you're wondering who I am, you can call me Rayanne, I do not mind. It's like, so what happened was last year, I decided that I wanted to be called Carla and that was something that I really wanted to do for like a long reason, personal reason to me, which I'm probably not gonna share, but um, I just wanted to be called Carla. And then I got in this job, which was like really like bad for me. Um, I was harassed sexually, um, yeah, which was kind of confusing and the way it was dealt with was really bad. I can't really talk about it on here, um, but it just, you know, um, and I just feel like really confused and about that situation, but I, like looking back on it, I feel like it was a sign from God telling me, you need to be doing your own thing. You need to be doing your own thing and trust in it and not fall into like people making you feel bad about yourself or not feeling confident enough. I um, left that job now, but they basically fired me for that, um, for reporting someone. So that's annoying. But um, so at that job, they called me Carla. So I kind of associate Carla with that job and it just, I just don't ever want to go back to that situation because it was so bad. Um, but honestly, it doesn't encourage me every day that story um but yeah that's basically what my name is if you want to call me Rayanne you can if you want to call me Carla you can so what do I do you're probably wondering who am I what do I do so I am a content creator a full-time content creator um doesn't mean I'm making a full-time income but I'm living at home with my family in London and I thought I'd take this opportunity to really go after my goals and get laser focused and not care about what people think, like whatever. I just thought, you know what, I wanna pursue this. So I'm a content, I'm content creator, I create content on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and that's it, yeah. So I, take, I, I create content on those three channels. Um, if you wanna see my TikToks here, my YouTube's here, my, see my YouTube's here, it's in this thing. So my TikTok's here, my Instagram's here, you can follow me. Um, um, and then I also have a business, which is Content Creation Girlies. Well, it's not really a business, it's like a community of content creators. Um, so a lot of these people are like um, around the UK, around Australia and around America. And they are girlies who, it's called Content Creation Girlies and it's a brand which helps content creators get content done. I mean, there's so many more ideas I wanna do, but at the moment I'm like really struggling to get things done because I, I feel like very stretched thin. Um, like I work like probably 60 hour weeks on everything that I do. Um, and it's really intense and I have a part-time job while doing that so it's quite intense but um, yeah so I do that and content creation girl has grown so much we have like 500 followers now which is crazy um, and it's just been a really lovely thing to do and like I feel like it's a way for me to give back and I think with me my whole the whole time I've done this content creation journey is that I never wanted to be one of them like I never want to be one of those girls who were like out of touch and not supportive and my community that I've created like I've wanted it to be a loving community a community that loves each other a community that helps each other and not be one of those influencer events that you go to and people you just feel like quite hostile and like uncomfortable so that's kind of like what I do um but I tell you a few hobbies so I enjoy traveling um if you know I love going to America I need to branch out to other countries but I mean I'm, I'm content with America you know like there's so much you can do there and I really see why people live that like, don't leave America um, of course there are issues in America concerning race and you know I feel like they're quite behind in some of their values um, but I just love America I love going there I love Florida I love New York uh, I love Maryland I love DC I love Cal I, you know I just want to travel America and one of my biggest dreams is to do content creation full-time to have a US visa and to also work remotely abroad. That's like my dream. Um, that's kind of what I want to do. So yeah, I just love, I just love America. Like I love it. And literally I've only been in America the past three years and I, I hopefully can get, hopefully I get a visa one day. Praying that God provides one for me, but um, in whatever means. Um, I mean, I mean, I would get married to in America, but I mean the American guys I met when I was in um, 
New York in America. When I was in America last, I met some weird guys. They're a bit strange. Cause they like, I think because at the beginning they're so lovely and kind and then they turn crazy and it's just like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I really do love America. Um, I love traveling. What else do I love? I love content creation. I love editing. I mean, I haven't really been editing much cause I've actually been using a kind of AI editor which edits out all of your like pauses which is absolutely amazing it makes my life easier so i haven't really been getting into like an intense editing zone i love reading books i prefer like self-development books and I've, I've got it in my amazon storefront link below i think um where you can actually see the books that i'm been reading but i love reading self-development books and romance books i'm not really a crime girl i did try a crime one but just no i want to be in my feelings i want to be imagining what it feels like to be in love because i ain't got a boyfriend so yeah that's kind of what i love doing oh i like swimming as well i mean i only do breaststroke because i don't want to get my hair wet when i go swimming so i literally just do breaststroke i'm like this I don't do any hair, my hair is not made to get wet. Um, okay, so number four, uh, another thing I wanna talk about is my dating life. Have I got a dating life? No, I mean, I did, I mean, I was dating this guy earlier this year, but I just didn't, I don't feel like I appreciated him enough. Um, and then now we've kind of like, we broke up. Well, I broke up with him. I mean, I didn't really tell anyone about this, but I broke up with him. Cause like, I thought I was just, I was just not in the right place. Um, but now I really, you know, regret doing that. Um, and he's still, we're still friends now. Um, but I just feel like, I don't know, I want, I want us to have another chance. But the only issue is he actually has a girlfriend now. Well, girlfriend, he's Jamaican. So the issue is like, you see how we do things, like how we're like, you know, you have a boyfriend, but the way you ask, like, how do I say it? With me and this guy, cause he's Jamaican, there is a like, kind of communication barrier. And it's not like, I can understand Patois. I mean, I can't, I don't really talk Patois, but I talk English. But um, like for him, he's like, oh, he's got a girlfriend. But I mean, he said that the girl was his girlfriend like the first week he met her. So I'm like, I, I think there's some kind of difference in the cultures. Um, so I'm not really dating him, but he's lovely. Like he, you know, I mean, we're not dating, but I do like him. I gotta move on because he's got a girlfriend. I mean, I, I mean, I think, why does he talk to me so much if he's got a girlfriend, I don't know. But um, yeah, um, where are we? So yeah, that's basically what's going on with that. Mm, so yeah, um, that's how it's going. But this last kind of bit of the video, I just wanted to talk about how I'm feeling about YouTube. I have basically been doing YouTube for 10 years. This channel, no, 11 years. This channel is 11 years old, 11 years. So I was 14, was I 14 or 13? No, I was, yeah, so I was 13 when I made this channel. I used to post um, and I've just, I'm just not happy with my YouTube because I feel like I work so hard on it and it's just not, not getting the watch hours. I, can you believe I'm on 2,000 subscribers and I have not got, I have not got um, uh, 4,000 watch hours so I can get monetized. And I, I, I'm honestly not even joking. I feel like YouTube, my YouTube is against me because I don't know how I'm not at 4,000 watch hours. All my friends that I know who are on here, they are literally, they are monetized. And I don't understand why I can't get monetized. You know, it's just annoying. So if any of you guys want to support me, please watch my videos in full. Um, even if you don't watch it, like put it on like, watch like playlist so watch a playlist and um, because that helps me build up my watch hours so i can get paid the only way i'm getting paid from youtube is through brand deals so if i work with a brand i charge them a fee um but other than that i don't really i don't really get paid and like that's something that's really annoying me because i'm like i've been doing this for 10 years i mean i say 10 years but i mean on and off for 10 years and only recently i've started to kind of like a step back with youtube but i feel like i'm ready to just like put my all in i really want to make this grow into like a massive community and i want to you know i just want to do that <laughs> but i think i'm balancing a lot at once and that's probably why i'm not like rocketing off if that makes sense so yeah i'm feeling a bit down about youtube so please please like if you see my videos please share them please um watch them fun and even if you don't want to watch them in full you can just put them on in your background. Like, say you're at work, put it on in the background. It just recognizes the hours that you've been watching because um, that helps me grow my channel. Um, so yeah, that's everything that we're gonna talk about today. And it's just a live update. <laughs> it's a bit boring, but I just feel like we need to talk. We need to have, so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next